Okay, what's up guys? Uh, I'm going to show you real quick how to make a bus track in FL Studio 12 in your mixer. So, here's your step sequencer. probably have a number of different samples loaded in here. I have a kick, a snare, and a clap. So what we're going to want to do, select kick, go to the top left to this little arrow, say assign free mixer track. And do the same thing for other instruments. So I'll go to snare, assign free mixer track, clap, assign free mixer track. And there's a number of different ways to do that, but I did it this way just so it's more clear. Okay, so once we've done that, we have all of our instruments loaded in different tracks. We can see kick one, two, snare one, three, clap one, four. So let's open back up the mixer and go to another free mixer track. Mine is five, but in your case, it could be anything. Go up to where the number is. Do right click and say rename, call this drum bus. So this is where we're going to route all of our other instruments, or in my case, the kick, the snare, and the clap. Okay, so now select the kick, and hold Control, Shift, and then select all your other instruments. So in my case, snare and clap. You can select any number of different things while holding Control and Shift. It's kind of nice. I like Apple Studio 12 for that. So select them all, and go down here to your drum bus track that you just made. Right-click this little arrow, and say Route to this track only. So now, my kick, my snare, and my clap are all routed to this drum bus. So if I come up here to the step sequencer, and I put in a bunch of garbage, and I'll turn the master track down so it's not insanely loud for you guys. So you can hear that pattern play. Everything's routing to this drum bus. So if I turn this down, see that I'm controlling the kick, the snare, and the clap from just this one channel. So similarly, if I turn this back up a little bit so you can hear it, I'll go over here and I'll add, I don't know, let's say, let's say reverb, and I'll make it super wet, crank that out, and you'll hear the kick, the snare, and the clap will all have reverb on it. Awesome, right? Yeah. Okay, so you can make a bus track for really anything. Um, all you're doing is just sending different instruments to different areas. It's just kind of commonplace to do this with drums, so that's why I chose it for my example. Um, but you do a similar thing with any instrument. So I hope this helped. Uh, good luck in your producing endeavors. Peace.